Hey everybody, my name is Digi Dave Amaral. I'm the Interactive Services Manager for Free Skier Magazine, and I'm here to bring you through my 09 010 setup. So, I spend the majority of my winter either behind a keyboard or chasing the contest scene around, and my equipment does reflect that. So, if I'm out there at a contest or just cruising around, the Salomon 171 Dumont is my ski of choice. I find this to be an amazing all-mountain ski and also a terrific park ski. Wood core, bomber construction, it's got the edge armor control underneath so you don't pull any edges out on rails. It's great on the hard pack, it's great on loose crud, you can bump in it. I find it to be the jack-of-all-trades ski that's always on the roof rack for when I have to do anything. You know, If I don't know what conditions are going to be like or what kind of terrain I'm going to be faced with, this is the ski that I'm bringing. This is the binding that I throw on my Dumont. It's a Solomon STH-14. I don't ride the larger bindings because, quite frankly, I don't need to. I'm light enough, and uh, I've never had any problems with riding the 14 cranked up to around 10, and I can't imagine putting any other binding on that Solomon ski. I trust it with my life, and uh, so should you guys. You know, sometimes you're out in the back country, you and your boy's been making a jump for about nine or 10 hours. It's time to get ready to cut it loose. I turn over to the Solomon Shogun. This bad Larry is a little bit wider, really light, really flexy. I can't imagine life without this ski in powder, in crud, you know, backcountry at Whistler, getting dropped out of the heli, or, uh, you know, just cruising the front face of Breckenridge. I used to ride the Reikley Flex on, was really bummed when they stopped making that boot, but thankfully the folks at Full Tilt got the design back, and this is the new Seth Morrison Pro Model boot. It's super stiff, it's got a lot of padding, amazingly comfortable, and I find that it gives me the right support that I need, whether I'm in the park, cruising all mountain or in powder. It's just an amazingly well-fitting boot. So you gotta have two pairs of gloves when you're riding here. You gotta have your pipe gloves or your spring gloves and then for those cold days where you're gonna get frostbite, I trust my hands to the Empire glove. These things are killer. Great construction, awesome look, they fit really well. And I go with the mitten because it's, uh, it's a little better. I don't really have the best circulation and my hands stay really warm. Then for those warmer days, I hit it up with the Armada. Nice little leather glove. Not really sure how well they're gonna stay clean, but hey, they look fresh. This is the Pock Receptor Bug Helmet. It's made to take multiple impacts. It's really comfortable. I think it's got a good look, right colors. Protects your head really well. Good fit. Goes right in your head. Earlier this winter, I was convinced to try out a new goggle from Scott called the Fix. Gave it a whirl, and now I'm hooked. It's got great visibility. It never fogs up. I think the style is really good. It's kind of switching it up. Definitely check this one out. It's got triple density foam around it. Fits really comfortably, and, it, and I've had it work in every single helmet I've ever tried. The new Skull Candy headphone, awesome sound. iPod controls right here. Can answer phone calls, change your music, voice control. Sound great. Use them here with my laptop, my iPhone, riding skiing, doesn't matter. These things are absolutely fantastic. You gotta block those harmful UV rays and do it with Oakley. Gas Can S, they got the small fit because I got a narrow size face. Fit great, look great. I've dropped these, stepped on them, left them in the wash. They take a lick and no scratches. Scott Poles, they're great. So the kit this year, it's all Armada, head to toe. The jacket is the radar jacket. It's brand new from these guys. It's nice and light. It's got a good cut. Pockets for your iPod, your phone, adjustable wrist, storage space for whatever you may be bringing skiing. Love the style, nice and plain. The pants, they pop really hard, nice and comfortable. Really warm too. No wind, no cold. Lots of style, good fit, and I love it. I back these guys 100%. Great stuff. For base layers this year, I switched it up with Orage. I like their new patterns for this year. Lots of stripes, good colors. It's not something that's really obnoxious, but it kind of blends in with whatever you kind of have on that day. A pair of jeans if you take your pants off, your jacket. Really good stuff this year from Orage. I'm Dave Amaral, and that's my kit for 2010. For more info on all the 2010 product, pick up a copy of the Free Skier Buyer's Guide or check it out online at freeskier.com.